Those hacked emails are a plot by the Russians to disrupt the election, at least according to the U.S. government, which also alleges that the Russians are trying to break into state voting systems. One of those attacks was in Arizona, where we find Jeff Pegues. The hacking attempt on Arizona's voter database started in rural Gila County when an elections worker opened an email attachment. Very scary stuff. Michelle Reagan, Arizona's Secretary of State, says it was malware meant to attack these servers holding the voter information of four million people. We had the cybersecurity team in place. Reagan was alerted by the FBI. Experts believe the Russian government is to blame. What was your initial reaction? <laughs> Shock <laughs> and um, dismay, obviously, because we've never had a worry about foreign invaders coming in and trying to mess with our confidence in our election system. Arizona, Illinois, Florida, and nearly two dozen other states have seen similar scanning, probing, or breaches of their election systems. The Russians have a different doctrine than we do. For over a decade, Jim Lewis has advised the U.S. government on cyber attacks. They're using information as a way to achieve their political goals. They don't need the Red Ar Army anymore. They have the Internet. President Vladimir Putin and other senior Russian officials have denied involvement, calling U.S. accusations nonsense. The biggest thing we were worried about um, was, did they take any information? Reagan says she is confident the voter database wasn't compromised, but she says the attacks continue. In September alone, officials here say that there were 192,000 intrusion attempts. About 11,000 of them posed a serious threat. Reagan and 32 other secretaries of state have asked the Department of Homeland Security for help. I liken it to when you're being invaded by Russia, you don't call in your National Guard. At, at some point, you have to say, you know, I need the Army. Changing actual vote totals is difficult because most voting machines are not connected to the Internet. But throwing confusion into an already contentious election, that's a lot easier. And Scott, that's what officials believe the Russians are trying to do. Jeff Pegues for us tonight. Jeff, thank you. And another note, CBS News will be bringing you live coverage of the third and final Clinton-Trump debate that's in Las Vegas next Wednesday at 9 Eastern, 8 Central.